Hello, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the previous episode, we conquered the Boblax Kingdom. I couldn't remember the name of the top man for a moment. In today's episode, we'll be taking care of the final dungeon across the Awakening Wood. So without further ado, let's gather up 20 of each Pikmin so that we can have even numbers, and I can feel nice on the inside. And now that we have a full squad, that's gotta say, I know I said in a previous episode that I do really like it that the they have separate onions in this game. Getting the actual picking on the onions though, yeah, that does make me kind of wish that they were all in one onion earlier. So the moral of the story is that I'm impossible to please. Yay! Alright then, so we're going to be tossing all the Pikmin up there because I do not want to risk them falling off the bridge when we get up to that one area. Because I have a history with that. I have a history with the Pikmin just falling off the bridge and it wasn't a very pleasant experience because like there's railings on the side. They shouldn't be able to fall off at all, but now they somehow found a way. Pikmin, you are not Mandalorians. That is not the way. <laughs> Whenever we bring people into Oka's Cantina, I like to say that when, like, we're leading them over to the table. It's like, if you follow me, this is the way. And, like, you can really tell who's really loving, like, Mandalore and things like that because, like, you'll hear people, like, be super excited that we made, that we said the thing. It's always a really fun time all around. That's what I love about working about, that's what I love about working Galaxy Says, is that I get to make Star Wars references all day. The wall's coming down. We're yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. Let's make a night. You won't remember. I'll be the one. You won't forget. Let's go on towards the Snuggret Hole. Oh, don't you dare my game. Don't you dare save my game. You saved my game. How dare you? Guess who decided to reset on the first floor because of something stupid. So one thing that I really like about this game is how much variety we have in the ground texture for the floors. For the dungeons and things like that because this one is, takes place in the tree stump. And you can really see that with this place because wow this just looks really cool. And like they could have easily gotten away with trying to make all the dungeons look the same. But... They, they made, they gave a variety, and I do appreciate that. Alright. So let's be careful around this jerk. Let's be careful around you. Um, nope, 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 Okay. You're backing away. You are backing away. Now just stay facing that way. That way. That way. Cheat that way. But Okay, I'm not happy with that, but I'll be I'll live with it. We lost a purple. I'm not happy about that, but it's better than what happened on the failed attempt. If we lost the same number of Pikmin as the Bull Blacks Kingdom's first floor. Crystallized telekinesis. Did anybody else just love looking at marbles and just spinning around and seeing the little leaves inside just spin? I always loved doing that when I was a kid. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the fun things about being on the spectrum is hyper fixating on silly things like that. I could also one thing I also love doing is like whenever I play with a car toy, I'd always like spin the wheel and things like that or. For our dolls, I'd like physically move the legs around as they're walking. That was one of the, that was a really fun thing to do. And this right here, I love this so much that the top floor takes place in the treehouse. This is such a good detail. This is such a good detail. I love that so much. It's such a good area. I love that so much. It's such a great detail. Uh, man, like. That's what's making me really excited about Pikmin 4, is that not only are dungeons coming back, but it looks like there's a lot more variety in landscapes as well. Because we have the, the one area that looks like an aquarium, the one area that looks like a house, and the kid park and things like that. I'm really excited for Pikmin 4.
You know, this is a really cute feather and all, but I gotta say, you don't want to do this too much because you'll... Ugh, the feather will make your nose tickly. Huh. 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 Achoo! Yeah. One of my favorite jokes that I saw somebody else do it was Cantina. Whenever there was a kid who had a porg, they had this funny gag where they were allergic to porgs. <laughs> and they'd always sneeze whenever they saw the porg. It was really cute. Going from the treehouse to not a treehouse at all. Where are we supposed to be exactly? Are we supposed to be like outside? Or I think that's the intention, but... We're supposed to still be in a cave, I thought. Alright. Oh, I'm not gonna complain. I like this area. So, let's be super duper careful. Let's be super duper careful and only bring blues with us going forward. Okay. You're a little too close for comfort. Let's bring you back over this way. There we go. Okay, I was only one of the blues. And that yellow is just going to sit there and mind its own business. Okay, we don't need to fight that one guy over there. We're just gonna go over here and gather the food that, and I'll say, probably should have long expired by now. It's a, that's a rice ball, right? Do, do, do those things expire? I don't know the answer to that. Ah, uh, no, 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 you, get away from me. If you're gonna pick on somebody, pick on me. Pick on somebody your own size. Bark! Bark, 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 wolf, 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 bark, 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 bark. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright then, let's continue on over this way. Uh, Ricky Elmer sounds a bit more macho and manly than he actually is. Macho, macho man. So, whenever my family got, like, Taco Bell or whatever, um, if we ever got nachos, I'd always sing a song, Nacho, Nacho Man, I wanna eat the Nacho Man. Taste sensation. This looks really, really good. It'd probably kill me, though, because I'm allergic to most seafood. Destroy these jerks. I believe there's only one more treasure left on this floor, so hopefully it'll be okay. Right, let's gather this because we're gonna need some more nectar, so we can have our beautiful Pikmin girl up to be beautiful little flowers. Yay, flower power! There was this thing on Disney Channel a long time ago where. They'd have back-to-back -back episodes of The Little Mermaid and the Aladdin TV shows, and they'd call it like the Dizzy Princess Power Hour or something like that, and I always thought that was like a really fun name. But then they stopped airing those at a time where I'd still be awake, and they'd only air them at 4 in the morning. Uh, oh, the woes of being a 6-year-old or however old I was. Like, okay, they have like a lot of really fun Disney shows that they're just not putting on Disney Plus. Because how is it possible The Disney Plus is like almost three or four years old and they still don't have House of Mouse. That was the best Disney show. Why is that one not on there? Just why? Why would you not put that on your show on your service day one? House of Mouse was up. Oh no! Oh, okay. Okay, we got this! Mash! Phew! Alrighty then! That was a little more... A little more extreme than I would have liked. Um, 
Did we get a strawberry earlier in the last play? Alright. Combustion berry. <laughs> I love strawberries. They're so yummy. If I were to make it like a tier list of uh, fruits and things like that, bananas would probably be on top. At least most days, because like I love bananas and all, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm like not preserving them properly, but it just kind of seems like bananas spoil really quickly. So like you got like a bunch of bananas and things like that, and you want to eat them quickly and things like that. Um, but like bananas would be top one. Strawberries and grapes would be two. I think I like oranges a little bit more than apples. Like I, I do love apples, but like with the giant core in the center of it, you end up throwing up most of it away anyway. So like, if I'm gonna eat like a circle leaf, hi there! I wasn't expecting you. Uh, okay, this is in a treehouse. May I remind you? May I remind you that you, sir, are in a treehouse? All right. Uh, okay, if you do that again, we're just gonna throw a Pikmin at your head. That's another good strategy if it's not getting stuck in the ground. Alright, tossing at your head. Try not to make them land on the base because that's when um, they'll become vulnerable to the Snargrid. But if you're able to throw them directly on the head, that should work as well. Oh, sir, sure. now you get stuck on the ground. Yay, you are deceased. Alright, sub level three. What do we have to do here? Okay, we probably could use some more flowers because I think the Snagret knocked some of the flowers off, so we want to definitely take the time to get some more. Also, I really do apologize if you can hear the Wii Remote in the background. I wasn't really thinking too much about the vibration because, like, I don't play the Wii U too often nowadays anymore, um, so I don't really think about the things like the Wii Remote vibrating and things like that. Oh, that right there. Okay, we haven't. I don't think we've seen that before. But if you see the red nectar like that, or the purple nectar, that like, gives you like an instant potion. Um, so you don't have to bring berry, like ten berries over to the ship or anything like that. It's a really, it's really good. I think there's also a glitch with that too, where you can get more than you're supposed to. I don't know how to pull it off though. So next chance we get, we definitely will look more into that. I just don't remember. I've taught me how to how to do it. Oh, hey there, Swimpy so Spongebob. Yeah, if you hear the remote in the background, I do apologize for that. I would turn it off, but I kind of don't want to, honestly, because... I don't know, this might sound weird, but it's just such a nostalgic feeling. <laughs> like, it's it's hard to describe. I just really like the Wii Remote vibration, specifically. It's such a good feeling. Well, it's not a good feeling, it's another Snaggrid! Ow, you! Go away, you silly, silly sandwich! None of you latched onto its head. Well, you're still dead anyway, so I don't really care that much. But still, like, we were all swarming on it, and none of you were latching onto its face! What, are you afraid of cooties or something? That looks very, um, I'm not gonna say it, but that did not look E-rated. Meat satchel, oh yeah. Alright, what else does this horrible place have to offer? Eh, we probably should have saved that for after... Blink the wind of the thing. Mm. Okay, what Pikmin do we want to sacrifice to the candy pot gods? Uh, 
right, let's put some reds in the purple. And we'll put yellows into the we'll put yellows into the white. Yay, now I'm regretting not waiting to get the next turn until after we did this. And with all that taken care of, let's move onwards. Now where was the geezer? There is the geezer. Sub level four. Okay, I was praising it earlier, but now this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We we're on top of a tree house, and then we we're indoors, and then we were a little bit underground, but now we're in a canyon. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to do some reconnaissance duty, or however you pronounce that word. I'm trying to say it fancily, and I can't. Okay, let's be careful and see what's... Oh... Oh, no! Oh, this was before rock pigment, so those guys are evil! Oh, no! Okay, this is probably one of the more mean combinations in the game. When you have jerks like the watery blowhog, whatever these things are called, because they will tend to kick your Pikmin off. And if they do that over the cliff, that is fatal. That is very fatal. It is not very nice at all, and it's not something that I appreciate. All right, let's try not to have too many with us. Let's, let's start off with the, let's start off with the yellows and blues. We're gonna head out and take care of the watery blogs first before we do anything else. And be smart and not have blues take care of the electrical hazards, because that would suck. Alright, we take care of you. So, same strategy before applies here as well for these guys. You want to make sure that they're not facing the cliff when you fight them. Because if you do, you're going to regret it. Because they will knock the Pikmin off into the cliff, and you will lose them forever, and that's not very good. Uh, swarming is probably also a better strategy as well, just in general for this, because... Yeah, they might start drowning, but you can just whistle them back, and it should be okay. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering! If you blow your whistle with three, you may be able to help them. Alright, we got you. Okay, I'm not too concerned about the orange bulbs right now. Um, we should be able to take care of you just fine now. Alright, now I'm concerned about you. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, my heart was racing during that. <laughs> my heart was racing during that, so, yeah. Make sure they're not facing the cliff, and swarm them when you can. It's also a bit more manageable to have a smaller squad like this as well, so that's another thing that's worth mentioning. But now we gotta go deal with the... we gotta go deal with the cannon beetle. And this was in a time before the rock pikmin, and I'm very much missing them right now. <laughs> Cupid's Grenade. Cherry Bomb! Cherry Bomb! Ah! How are you alive? Oh, I would not quest 
question that. I will gladly take it. I will gladly take it and never question this game's logic. Crystallized telepathy. When I was a kid, I didn't know the difference between telepathy and telekinesis was. Okay. Let's go like this. Off to the side. Ooh! Ooh! That could have been so much worse. That could have been so much worse. Oh, I forgot they could do the kicking animation too. I was that. Oh man, I. My heart skipped so many beats. Oh my god. What are you, What the heck? Why did you fall from the sky? What? seen that before we got th the captain got thrown out of bounds I've never seen that before heavy duty magnetizer this entire floor is a roller coaster ride okay we're gonna leave those buddies over there just in case another jerk decides to fall from the ceiling as we can go to the gaze area, it should be okay, and we wouldn't have to worry about those stupid jerks hurting our feelings. Oh man. Man, I, I need I might need to take a moment. I might need I might need to take a 10-10. Because oh my god my heart is beating so fast. 